Let's be honest, up until now, removing backgrounds from your mid-journey images meant exporting and handling it somewhere else. There just wasn't a built-in option, until now. In this video, I'll show you how to get a clean background removals right inside of mid-journey with the Smart Select tool. And even better, how to prompt your images so you're set up for success from the start. If you create content, mock-ups, or production art, this is going to save you time. So let's get into it. But first, a quick shout out. This topic came straight from one of you. In our survey from the video, Help Me Help You, someone asked, what's the best way to delete the background in a mid-journey image? If you're a creative pro working on designs, mock-ups, product shots, or anything client-facing, this is exactly the kind of trick that's going to level up your workflow. But before we jump in, a quick myth buster. Midjourney doesn't support transparent background as a prompt. Even if you ask for it, you'll get a solid white, black, or colored background, not an actual cutout. So if you're expecting a PNG with no background right out of Midjourney, yeah, that's not happening, at least not yet. Want an easier background removal? Start in the prompt. Use prompt wording like isolated, flat white background, or sticker with a white outline. It sets you up for a clean background removal later. One minor tweak in your prompt can save you tons of time and frustration later. All right, here in Midjourney, we're going to remove the background of the shark. It's pretty easy. We just click the edit button here and we click open and edit tab. And all we have to do is click the smart select button. And we're gonna grab one end of the shark and we're gonna grab the other end of the shark and it gets just about everything. Sometimes there's little bits that don't quite get and uh, there's nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. So Mid Journey, I'm sure is gonna come up with a solution for that. But in the meantime, it is what it is. We click erase background and you've got it. This is why I like doing a white outline around something because it really helps you get the image that's inside, okay? So let's do another one that isn't quite as perfect as that one. And I've got one right here, which is this shark. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we select smart edit, do one end of the shark and the other end. And you can see it doesn't know what to do where these waves are. And also it's really kind of jaggy a little bit. Um, unfortunately, this sometimes is as good as you're gonna get with this. So if, you know, this doesn't quite meet your uh, excellence demands, I suggest you keep using Photoshop or Canva or Affinity Photo or whatever you're using to delete the background. But um, if you're doing delete background here in Mid Journey because you wanna play with it some more and put something else in the background, this will work just fine. Remember, once you've got that clean cutout, you can drop it right into a t-shirt mock-up a web banner template, or a social post. It's ready to go. This is the kind of stuff that makes your work look polished, production ready, and you can complete things at blazing speeds. So what tricks are you using to clean up your images? Drop them in the comments and share your hacks. And hey, if you got something out of this, hit like, subscribe, and check out the next video. It's packed with great tips just like this one. Thanks for watching.